to help students in the central Philippines resume their education after Typhoon Haiyan. Today is donating prefabricated classroom to schools in Ni. Nine have already been erected in Tungad Elementary School, while two were supposed to be installed in Tagloban Sacred Heart College. Only one went up. We find out why. Sacred Heart College sustained heavy damage due to Typhoon Haiyan. Here at the top on the third floor, we can see that the roof and ceiling have all been blown away. Unable to shield students from the elements, classes can no longer be held here. To help, Tsuji has donated two prefabricated classrooms. At first, we asked for two classrooms. However, after a closer look, we realized we can all squeeze in and fit in the rest of the classrooms. The compassionate principal decides to share one of the classrooms with schools in more need by utilizing the school's chemistry lab, language lab, and library. All students should be able to fit. I now truly see humanity as one, a completely united body. We should not be separated by religions or regions. Wherever there are troubles, we should all do our best to help. What touches me is that she is willing to share one of the classrooms with more needy schools. A volunteers from central Taiwan are joined by six local volunteers to put the classroom together. After making sure all parts are in place, they began carefully assembling the structure. These volunteers come from all walks of life. Chen Jie Huang is a computer engineer by trade. Once, after falling seriously ill, he was inspired to walk in the Bodhisattva path. However, manual labor is something new for him. Since I started working, I have only been typing on computers. The heaviest items I lift are my chopsticks and child. 65-year-old Shiatsu massage therapist Zhang Biao Li has been with Ziji for over 20 years. This is his first international relief assignment. People with a compassionate heart are the wealthiest, so I must join international relief missions. Lai Jinqi owns a home appliance shop. He used to smoke, drink and eat meat, but gave them all up after joining Ziji. The trip is a dream come true for him. Ziji's four endeavors and eight footprints, I've pretty much practiced all of them except this. Coming here lets me personally take part in this international disaster relief, fulfilling my dream. Cultivating their spirituality while helping those in need, these bodhisattvas continue on their path.